Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news is from Bath Township this afternoon, where just north of Lansing, sources are telling us that Michigan State Police are raiding the home of a former staffer of Lee Chatfield. The former State House Speaker is accused of abusing his sister-in-law for more than a decade, starting when she was a teenager. House Republicans have been told to save information related to his conduct in office or use of House resources to help the state police in their investigation. Now, through his attorney, Chatfield did deny the sexual assault claim, but admitted to having an affair that he called consensual when both were adults. Michigan State Police and the Attorney General's office confirmed that they are working together, but they will not say why. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we get more details. We also have breaking news that we're following from Detroit's west side this afternoon, where a police chase just ended at Parkside and Santa Clara. Now, we are piecing all of this information that we are just getting right now. It looks like a Southfield police car tried to block the driver of the black car that you just saw there, and it might have slid into that building. These are the vehicles that are believed to be involved, or at least the police vehicles that are there on the scene. Police got out of their vehicles with their guns drawn, and the suspect raised his hands through the sunroof as he surrendered without a fight. Now, we are in communication with police. We are trying to get more details for you as to exactly what would have led up to this chase, this confrontation and arrest, and we'll keep you updated as we get more information here on air and online at clickondetroit.com. Also breaking at this hour, we're hearing about a settlement in the royal scandal that has plagued Britain's Prince Andrew. He's being accused of sexually abusing a 17 year old girl. Now, in the past, the prince has said that he doesn't even remember meeting this young woman here on your screen. She, however, says that they were introduced by the late Jeffrey Epstein. Now, court documents show that the prince will make a big donation to a charity chosen by his accuser and the prince says that he never intended to malign her character. Now, the girl's attorney, now woman's attorney, says that they have filed paperwork saying a tentative deal has been reached and both sides will request a dismissal of the suit within a month. We're learning more about the settlement and we're going to have much more tonight on Local 4 News at 5. Even more breaking news at this hour about a $73 million settlement in the deadly school shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary. The families of nine victims have come to a resolution with the gunmaker Remington. Now, they've argued that the rifle used by Adam Lanza, the shooter, never should have been sold to the public and was actually marketed to younger so-called at-risk men. Remington has said that there's no evidence to show its marketing had anything to do with the shooting. Some plaintiffs are expected to talk about the settlement later today. The shooting, as you might remember, left 20 first graders and six educators dead. This was back in 2012. New developments in the Ukraine conflict now as Russian President Vladimir Putin says Russia is ready for talks with the U.S. and NATO on limits for missile deployments and military transparency. This comes as the Russian Defense Ministry announced a partial pullback of troops, adding to hopes that the Kremlin might not be planning to invade Ukraine Im imminently. Let's send things out to Richard Engel in Ukraine for a look at all of the new developments. For the last several weeks, we have all been watching the Russian troop movements, trying to read the diplomatic tea leaves. And overnight, there have been some developments that indicate that Russia may be de-escalating. First of all, the Russian military announced this morning that some military units in the south and west of Russia would be pulling back to bases after having completed military exercises. But in the same statement, Russia said that it is continuing its military drills with its forces in other areas not far from the Ukrainian border. And this one step forward, one step back approach has left many here in Ukraine wondering if this is really a de-escalation from Russia or if it's just Vladimir Putin moving his forces around, reshuffling the deck. And this is the third time since December that Russia has announced a partial scaling back of its troop presence along the Ukrainian border. Yet the threat still remains, and U.S. forces say that the threat of a, an invasion is still imminent. It could come at any time with little or no warning. And that is why uh, the, the U.S. embassy in Kiev, the, the capital, is now empty. U.S. diplomats having moved to a temporary fallback location not far from the Polish border in the city of Lviv. Uh, there is also more talk now about diplomacy. There was a meeting yesterday between the Russian foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, and uh, Vladimir Putin, in which Sergei Lavrov encouraged the Russian president to pursue diplomacy, that the window is not closed, that there are still avenues to pursue, to which Putin replied, good. 
It doesn't mean that peace is in the air. It doesn't mean this is over. But with this partial pullback and renewed talk from Moscow about encouraging and pushing forward diplomacy, at least for now, it seems that there could be a possible way out of this short of a full-scale war. Richard Engel, NBC News, Mariupol, Ukraine. All right, Richard, thank you. Now, if Russia does invade Ukraine, we could see higher prices for things that we really all need, gas and groceries, just to name a few. Russia is the world's second largest producer of oil, and prices are already spiking. Russia is also the world's largest exporter of wheat, while Ukraine also produces wheat and corn. That could boost food prices. And if inflation rises, we could see the Federal Reserve speed up plans to raise interest rates. Russia is a key player in the world economy. The whole world has become dependent on Russian petro money. We're all going to have to have a fundamental rethink of whether or not the price is worth it to be so dependent on Russian money. Plus, you're going to want to keep an eye on the stock markets. The uncertainty of war can always have an impact on your 401k and some of your other investments. Also making headlines this afternoon, the Detroit Public Schools Community District is investing $700 million to improve the condition of school buildings district-wide, among a number of other things. And for a closer look at what some of those other things are and the district's plans, let's turn things over to Priya Mann. She joins us now live this afternoon. Priya. Hey, Evrod, this is an ambitious plan. It aims to deal with overcrowding and increased enrollment, and it would be district wide. This is the next step in rebuilding the district after emergency management. Let's get a breakdown of the $700 million plan. So the plan right now would be $281 million in new school buildings, $35 million to reactivate buildings for pre-K, $82 million to add new buildings on school campuses, $296 million to renovate school buildings, and that would include the HVAC systems, roofs and masonry and $11 million to demolish deactivated school buildings. The goal is to have this accomplished by 2027. So how do you pay for this plan? The district says it has access to federal relief funding for short term projects and is working to acquire state funding for long term needs. Now, over the next two months, public meetings are scheduled, some online, some in person. We'll have those times, locations and dates up on clickondetroit.com. Reporting live in Southwest, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, Priya, thank you. Right now this afternoon, we want to keep you updated on your forecast as we take a live look outside through our sky cam. Uh, if it wasn't for the snow there, Brandon, we would think that it was absolutely freezing, which it is. <laughs> Let's not mince words here, but also we've got some good news in the weather department. We're going to warm things up, Evrod, and today is just baby step improvements from low 20s yesterday. We've already exceeded those numbers were at 25 Metro Airport, 25 Howell and Ann Arbor. It's 25 for you in Mount Clemens. I think you get the idea here about average of mid 20s. It does feel cooler. Middle teens is what you need to dress for. That sunshine, boy, was it nice, but starting to fade away. So more clouds, Evrod. We'll talk more warmth more wet weather that will both be impressive rain and snow totals still over the next couple of days coming up. Okay, Brandon, we'll check in with you coming up in just a little bit. So to come, if you need something to do this weekend, don't worry, we've got you covered here at Local 4. We are talking about Winter Blast. It is officially back for the year 2022. This time with a new location over there in Royal Oak. We'll tell you why and everything else that you need to know if you want to have some fun, or should I say a blast this weekend. And if you're just joining us, we continue to follow breaking news from Bath Township. That's our sources are telling us that Michigan State Police are raiding the home of a former staffer of Lee Chatfield. The former State House Speaker is accused of abusing his sister-in-law for more than a decade, starting when she was a teenager. We're going to keep you posted on air and online at clickondetroit.com as we get more information. A do-over, a second chance. There are a lot of times in life when you could fail and try again. An injury case isn't one of those. That's why I give it my all. My clients have one shot, and I make it count. Call 855-MIKE-WINS. 
Men, are you struggling with erectile dysfunction? Well, you may not have to take pills any longer. There is now a breakthrough technology that can eliminate ED. I'm joined now by Andrew to tell us all about it. Nisha, we use the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, which is shown to open up blood vessels and improve circulation. We've helped so many couples restore normal intimacy without the pills. Andrew, what kinds of clinical studies have been performed on your technology? There are over 45 clinical studies. Even Cambridge University showed our treatments to be effective. One study called it the new standard of care for erectile dysfunction. If you are struggling with erectile dysfunction and want to turn back the clock in the bedroom, take advantage of this special offer and get your love life back. Put a stop to your erectile dysfunction. Call Maple Ridge Medical Clinic. You'll get the initial assessment and blood flow ultrasound free and a special gift proven to produce powerful results in the bedroom. A $650 value free to those that call right now. 313-403-3333. If you have floors that need improvement, we've got some tricks in our tool belt. 54 now has the newest hardwood, tile, laminate, luxury vinyl, and carpet. 54 brings hundreds of samples to your home to see in your own life. 54 will do all the heavy lifting for you, and they can get most jobs done in a day. They'll even clean up afterwards. Call today to get 60% off new floors. 54 is home improvement. Exactly done right. 54, the phone will be knocking at your door. Every case, we bring it. We give it our all. All the research, all the preparation, all the late hours. Because we never forget that one of those cases could be yours. Call 855 Mike Wins. What a thing, being a parent. Oh, honey, I'm home. What a thing, being a kid. I knew that this little girl's growing up. I just didn't realize that it would come so quickly. We have found the way before. I will find it again. A car like this can make a person feel immortal. I don't need a car to feel that. I got you. Honey, I'm home. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we know that it has become a staple on the winter calendar, at least, but there are some big changes that are coming to this year's winter blast. Now, the biggest change is the location. It's now going to be in Royal Oak instead of Detroit, which is still just as exciting. And joining me now this afternoon from downtown Royal Oak, we want to talk with the uh, owner, the owner of Fork in, in Nigeria. The food truck is Prej Irobu. Thank you so much for being here with us this afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Well, first of all, uh, tell us a little bit about your, your food truck here because it sounds delicious. It is, actually. So we've been in business for about, about a year and a half now. We started right in the middle of the pandemic, and uh, we've been here. We've expanded to uh, we're on the Avenue of Fashion. We're also in Columbus, Ohio, and we have a new location that just opened in Midtown, Detroit. So we've been doing pretty well this, uh, with this pandemic. Okay, and now the, the food truck can travel all around. So now you're posted up in Royal Oak at Winter Blast. What should we expect when we come to Winter Blast and try some of your food that we see you've got there on display? So this weekend, when you come, we have a, a lot of exciting options. Um, if you've had our food, Last year, we came up with the Fufu. There was a Fufu challenge that was going all across the country. We are bringing that Fufu for the first time to Royal Oak. So if you come, you're going to have the Fufu. That's right here. And then we have the rice, which is our traditional staple Nigerian jollof rice with the veggies. All our food is are vegan. And if we have the options of adding meat to it. So we have the goat shanks here. We have oxtails. We have the puff puff. And we have the stew beans and plantains, which is very popular with the vegan community, too. Oh my goodness, it all looks and so good. To top we, that out. Yeah, we want to put all the information for everybody to attend Winter Blast. There on your screen, the food enticed you there. It's this weekend, February 18th through the 20th. We've got the hours for you on clickondetroit.com. It's right there in downtown Royal Oak near Farmer's Market and Centennial Park. Prej, thank you so much for being here. The food looks fantastic. Make sure you check out Winter Blast. we got to have fun. we got to have a blast during this winter. Uh, so thank you so much. All right, so thank to come you. here on Local 4 News at Noon, Brandon tracking... Well, a warm up, even though it is still winter and some messy weather days ahead. So we're going to have the timeline for you in your seven day forecast that's coming up next.